and I remember the first time everyone saw Angry Birds with arms and legs. What a time to be alive. What, not that time? I said the first time! Angry Birds had done plenty of crazy crossovers before. Rio? Well, there are birds in there. Star Wars? That is one of the biggest movie franchises of all time. But Transformers? I think it's safe to say everyone was surprised by that. The initial cinematic trailer captured the 80s VHS cartoon vibe perfectly, and while the game strays away from that charm a bit, there's still a lot to love here. In my conquest to cover every Angry Birds bird, I have no choice but to go through every auto bird in this game. That's right, all of them. If you haven't checked into the game for a while, let me just fill you in on how many birds that is. 88! That is not a joke, people! This is the biggest group of birds we've ranked in this series yet. Thankfully, most of them are reskins for the main flock, so here's what we're gonna do. I will go through each main auto bird thoroughly, and then rapid fire the copycats afterwards. It'll be pretty similar to the My Singing Monsters video I just did. That way this video isn't 3 hours long or something. I may be an expert on all things Angry Birds, but I'm gonna be completely honest. The extent of my Transformers knowledge doesn't go much farther than Bumblebee. So to anyone out there who loves Transformers, just remember I have absolutely no knowledge of those characters. Now listen up people, I'm about to list all the birds right here, right now. Even the reskins. <sighs> Our list for today includes Optimus Prime, Energon Optimus Prime, Ultimate Optimus Prime, Epic Optimus Prime, General Optimus Prime, General Optimus Prime Neon, Optimus Maximus, Blur, Ultra Magnus, Neon Ultra Magnus, Major Ultra Magnus, Nemesis Prime. Holy shit, that was just the red variants. Jeez Louise! Bumblebee, Energon Bumblebee, High Octane Bumblebee, Classic Bumblebee, Rodimus, Nemesis Hot Rod, Cliff Jumper, Private Cliff Jumper, Cosmos, Graceslam Grimlock, Energon Grimlock, Gold Bite Grimlock, Trypticon, Volcanicus, Heat Wave, Sentinel Prime, Ratchet, Specialist Ratchet, Neon Ratchet, Hound, Special Officer Hound, Ironhide, Security Officer Ironhide, RC, Scout RC, Arachnid, Chromia, Sergeant Chromia, Neon Chromia, Nova Star, Moon Racer, Sharpshooter Moon Racer, Green Light, Sergeant Green Light, Flame War, Sergeant Flame War, Jazz, Ricochet, Blaster, Sideswipe, Private Sideswipe, Neon Sideswipe, Red Alert, Private Red Alert, Sun Streaker, Mirage, Private Mirage, Blue Streak, Prowl, Major Prowl, Neon Prowl, Smokescreen, Beachcomber, Drift, Wheeljack, Engineer Wheeljack, Warpath, Grapple, Omega Supreme, Sergeant Omega Supreme, Private Deadlock, Windblade, Energon Windblade, Alita One, Nightbird, Sergeant Nightbird, Slipstream, Alpha Trion, Captain Alpha Trion, Superion Cup, Nautica, Energon Nautica, Strong Arm, and Eggbot. If you played the audio of that to sound with no context, it would sound like an insane person. Please remember we'll be going very, very quickly through like 60% of those. Clearly we've gone on long enough, let's find out which of these birds make me pog, and which ones are worse than a Deceptahog. As always, we get to start with the main man himself, Red as Optimus Prime. Even if you don't know anything about Transformers, there's a pretty good chance you've at least heard of this one. And it's no surprise that this is our first Transformer in the game. Each character has their own strengths in battle, but Red's couldn't be more straightforward. He shoots a single bullet at a regular interval. I really don't know how to feel about Red's design here. It's really not interesting or all that exciting, it honestly leans more towards mediocre if I'm being honest. I also want to draw your attention to the eyes. Each character has a completely different style when it comes to their eyes, and I encourage you to spot each one in the video. The inconsistency just makes them all look out of place, and Rez might be the most out there. Mostly just because literally everyone else has eyes and he's a glowing white squared cyclops. Anyways, Optus Prime is one of the weakest versions of his character, compared to the others the design is pretty lacking, and sadly I'm going to have to put our first guy in C tier. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. Now we get to go through the six different versions of Optimus Prime. Amazing. Thankfully, they're all nearly the exact same thing, so we can just rapid fire them. First up is Energon Optimus Prime. Slap some blue lines on them and call them new, I guess. Try harder next time, F tier. Ultimate Optimus Prime is barely visually distinct from the regular one. Honestly looking way worse, and he has a slower shot? D tier. Epic Optimus Prime isn't even based on an actual character, they just made this one up. It attacks like Grimlock and uses gold and black accents for his color scheme. This one is actually pretty cool, A tier. 
General Optimus Prime is just a scratched up war veteran version of the regular one. And if you thought that was dumb, almost every character is also going to have a beat up version of themselves. It also cost $20 to buy when it came out. F tier is going to be full oh, tonight. What an A we got here. General Optimus Prime Neon. See this is what the Energon one should have looked like. They didn't even bother to change his weapon. C tier. Lastly, there is Optimus Maximus, that probably should be considered its own character, but what the heck, I'll just group it in here. This is our first of many giant characters, and they're so huge they don't even fit into the Astro Train. They are officially known as Combiners, kind of like Voltron or something. Each limb is from a different character, and all these cars are actually characters in the game, so that's pretty cool. The point of these things is to be massive premium characters that deal a ton of damage, and that could place them towards the top of the list, but what I really hate about the Combiners is that they lose the ability to drive. So when you're being shot at, there's no dodge option, you just have to take it. One of the biggest aspects of the gameplay is to turn into a vehicle, and they can't! Plus, most of these guys get a secondary ability to try to make up for it, but this one just doesn't have one. I'm getting so angry, so early people. Get in D tier! We move on to a new character using Red's design, and uh, did Red just get sexy or is it just me? There are a few characters in the game that they just took the head of one Angry Bird and swapped it with the animations and body of another. So we have Silver, a female character, now with Red's head on top. It ends up looking like a stretch out Mega Man with Red's face pushed in the middle. It's really just uncanny, not a fan. But he is pretty fun to use in game. While Chuck is usually the speedster, Blur is able to go so fast he slows down time. As a flying car, I suppose that makes sense? Anyways, I like using Blur in game, but he looks really strange, so he can go and be. Ultra Magnus is much more familiar, and I'm angry this doesn't count as an Optimus Prime clone. It's literally Optimus Prime, but silver. Well, he does look pretty cool. I hate having to admit that. And he's all right in game, so let's give him a C as well. Oh, you thought we were done with Ultra Magnus? There are two more. First one's Neon. He's not even red anymore. Ah, yes, my favorite leader of the flock. Blue. F tier. Major Ultra Magnus. Battle Scarred Ultra Magnus. I had to waste time cutting on an image of this guy's stupid head just to put it in F tier. Happy? The last Optimus Prime is thankfully a pretty fun one. We have an evil Optimus Prime with an inverted color scheme. This guy was released during a Halloween event too, which is pretty dang fitting. Of course, I'm sick of all these Optimus Primes by now. We're like 5 minutes into the tier list and it only consists of one character 12 times. But I gotta give proper recognition to this cool addition. B tier. Oh, you thought just because that was the last one that there wasn't gonna be a Captain Nemesis Prime? Obviously they need to make a darker, less interesting version of the character with the exact same weapon, F tier! Every Transformers noob loves Optimus Prime, but the real fans out there know that Bumblebee is where it's at. I'm almost definitely wrong about what I just said, but I really just wanted to justify why I like him so much. In the original cartoons, he was a little bug car Volkswagen, but in recent times they've changed his vehicle to look like a super cool muscle car. While diehard fans might prefer the classic look, I gotta say he looks pretty awesome. I love the way the car doors make a wing shape on his back, and the yellow color scheme is really great. He used to not be the strongest character to play as, but more recently received a buff so I don't actually feel bad about ranking this guy towards the top. I wanted to get through the boring red variants as quickly as possible, so now is a much better time to start talking about the insane cutscene comics in this game. I don't know who came up with these things, but some of them are completely incomprehensible. One of them shows the Astro Train shopping for canned bread. One shows Corporal Pig looking at a butterfly and then exploding. Multiple to pick characters trying to eat Energon Cube sandwiches. Multiple! And the Energon Optimus Prime one is great because it starts with Chuck asking for help, Red glows in the dark for him, and then Chuck sits down and starts reading the paper. Incredible. Anyways, Bumblebee is awesome. A tier. I think from now on, I'll just say, Energon, insert character's name here, F tier. So, uh, Energon Bumblebee, F tier. High Octane Bumblebee is pretty visually similar to the evil Optimus Prime, and truly looks just as cool if not more so than the original Bumblebee. A tier. Remember how I mentioned that the original comic version of the character was a little Volkswagen? Well, they've made a classic Bumblebee to fix that. What's funny is they release this to celebrate the new Bumblebee movie, which has a cool muscle car, when the regular Bumblebee in this game already had that model. They got it backwards somehow. Anyways, they didn't change his head or anything, just the car. His weapon is different at least, but I wouldn't say it's remarkably better or worse, just different. I'm thinking C tier. Now we have Rodimus, a completely different character that kind of just looks like a more red Bumblebee. The red is not as great of an accent color, but he's pretty fun to use in game, I think. Let's give him a B tier. Then of course, an evil version of him, who looks exactly like the other Bumblebee, but less interesting. D tier. 
And who can forget about Cliff Jumper? I wonder what he gets up to in his spare time. Basically, if you want Rodimus to have the Volkswagen model and bigger ball horns, you're gonna freaking love this guy. Unfortunately, I did not ask for either of those things. D tier. And Private Cliff Jumper should have stayed private so he didn't get put in F tier. If this makes you mad, remember people paid actual money to buy a desaturated, scratched up Cliff Jumper with no change to his weapon in any way. Please do not waste your money on this game, I beg of you. I was pretty surprised to see Cosmo show up. He's got a body type unlike anyone else, and I was immediately curious what he transformed into. He's a straight up UFO, and that's just amazing. I really love how round he is, and his design is pretty funny. I just have to appreciate a Chuck variant that isn't just Bumblebee repainted. I don't mind playing as him either, so what the heck, give him an A tier. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Dinosaurs are awesome. Hal is my favorite bird. Combine them both and put him on a three-wheeler and call him Grimlock, baby. Grimlock seems like he's as much of a fan favorite as Hal is, so their combination is really a match made in heaven. What other Angry Birds game led to unlock Hal this early? He's a main member of the flock here. The fact that Bomb and Matilda had to wait behind Hal is such a gratifying feeling. Something cool about this game is when you upgrade a character, their appearance changes. For almost everyone it looks awesome, and then we have Grimlock over here with the massive steel beak. His beak was already huge, why put another one on there? But you can't take this away, Rovio. You made perfection and that can't be ignored. I'm not even going to mention if he's actually good in game or not, I don't care! He has to be S tier. I love Grimlock, but I made it pretty clear I have no tolerance for the Energon versions. I still love Grimlock, so have a pity, D tier. It sounds like Gold Bite Grimlock might be better in game, but the super pale gold color scheme for him is really sad compared to the first one. Let's say B tier. Trypticon is our evil Decepticon version of Hal, and I love the idea, but again, can't say the look is cooler than the original. He gets a cool black hole though, so let's put him towards the top in A. Grimlock got a Mega Combiner version as well, known as Volcanicus. I'm already not a fan of these guys, this one in particular looks like Dog Dookie, has no special ability, a super weak attack, and is gonna go in F tier. Heatwave is surprisingly one of a kind, it's pretty nice to see after the 10 or so Optimus Primes. It's funny though, Terrence is typically a fan favorite no matter what. Just look at my tier list, almost every version of him is up there. But if you've ever tried playing as Heatwave in this game, you'll see why he's so hated. He gets one shot every millennium, and the shot isn't even that great. It would maybe even out if it completely destroyed what it hit, but sometimes you gotta attack the same spot three or more times. He's way too slow, and no one likes him. His firefighter getup isn't that amazing either. Terrence is known for not moving, so he kinda just stands there. I wish Jig jump scare! I like that his ladder moves his head up and down, but I really don't care for this firefighting slow poke. F tier. One of the earliest variants in the game is Sentinel Prime, a character so visually similar to Heatwave, they actually acknowledge how Chuck couldn't tell them apart in his introductory cutscene. So you knew they looked the same, yet made no effort to change that. Man, that's how you know they cared about this game. He has three lasers rather than one, but they are all weaker than the single laser, so is it really that much better? Nope! F tier. Speaking of Ratchet, that's also the name of our next Terrence Transformer. This medical bot fixes his low shot, allowing him to actually take down enemies quickly when needed. Sally is weapon overheats, making him only a little better than the others. I like his design enough to give him a low C tier. You just couldn't help yourself, could you? A character with no battle scars? People pay money to have one of those! Can't wait to talk about the Neon version after this one! F tier! I wasn't freaking kidding! At least he looks a little cool. Not that cool, but fine. D tier! Hound is a pretty badass name. Plus, they finally gave him a decent attack. So. Finally, Terrence has received a pretty cool character with a strong attack power, and I'm sure Terrence fans are ecstatic. I'm so happy for you all. Sadly, I don't think Transformers deserves an S tier Terrence. They need to learn their lesson. Hound can still have an A tier. You love ruining good things, don't you? I told you they don't deserve an S tier. I must say, they did do a little more than just make him dirty this time. Fine, D tier. The last new Terrence is known as Ironhide. He kinda just looks like a fat Optimus Prime. Not to mention his special helmet he wears. Look, when the character is red, they probably don't look all that interesting if you add more red, just saying. He's another not so great Terrence, so he's gonna go and see. Why not? Terrence really needed three scratched up variants. Especially when none of them are fun to play as. This one actually looks horrible. F tier. We move on to Stella. Again, it is so cool that Hal, Terrence, and Stella were so prominent in this game. For a long time, every female character out of the game was solely represented by Stella, which is pretty sad. 
There are more than one female bird people. Thankfully, they since added a few more female characters, but we've got a lot of cells to go through now. She rebels Optimus Prime and Bumblebee with the amount of characters you get through. RC was the first, and a motorcycle driving girl boss is a surefire way to make me love a character. Here's the thing though, check out her appearance in the trailer for this game. Now let's look at her in the comics. And finally, <sighs> her in-game design. Why? She looks amazing in every version other than the games. Tell me why this looks like it was made for the PS2. And those eyes! She could have been so great and instead she looks like this. Her attack is more about pushing than damaging, which can be good, but not always. I wish it didn't have to be like this, but you're going to go and see as well. I always thought I wanted a dirty version of Stella, but this is not what I meant! F tier! Now we have Arachnid, another evil version of the same model. I figured she would fly a plane or something, hence the air in her name, but she also just drives a motorcycle. I decided to look up what the actual Transformer looks like and was blown away by how cool it was! If this game tried even a little to make characters look like this, I'd be having a much better time right now. D tier! I got a fawn over one of these Stellas, it's kind of the brand at this point. And Chromia was released for Valentine's Day event, so what the heck. <sighs> I hope someday she will be mine. Actually, she kinda is mine. I own her in game now. Finally, the day she is mine is today! My love quest for a boyfriend free girl is over! Thanks Chromia! Very cool! She's also one of the better Stellas, so this works out great. S tier! Alright, I can only pretend to care for so long. All it takes is this crappy Sergeant Chromia to break this camel's back. F tier. The only good thing I can say about Neon Chromia is the massive glowing blue eyes finally work here. D tier. Next we have Nova Star, the fire version of our favorite female Angry Birds Transformer. Stella finally gets a new vehicle this time, and we get to see her take wing. Uh, I love seeing Stella take wing. Uh, I mean, uh, B tier. Moonracer is a blue version of the same character who's stronger in game. B tier. Sharpshooter Moonracer is a crappy version of the same character who has no differences and I hope she drowns! F tier! Guys, we've gotten the green light for another Stella clone. Man, it was really cool when we made her blue. Kinda makes me wish we made her green next. Yes, that's exactly all I've ever wanted. Thank you! Said no one ever! D tier! I don't know how much more of this I can take. Just get an F tier. While thinking about the flame wars I'm going to have with children in the comments who like Angry Birds Transformers, Stella changed her name to exactly what I was thinking of. This one is the actual evil version of Stella, categorized as a Deceptahog. The red is cool I guess? We're almost done with the Stellas, I'm just going to put her in D so we can move on. Wow, a desaturated worst looking version of the character we just looked at. My favorite! <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, I want to talk about bubbles now, F tier! You like jazz? I love jazz, thanks Barry B. Benson. Bubbles gets to be jazz in this game, and I couldn't be happier. I feel like they typically make the cool guy bomb or chuck. Bubbles has more of an innocent little kid vibe, so for him to have a sports car and cool pair of shades is really fun. All of his versions have this cool guy personality, and I really love that. If only they didn't make 10 versions of this character, I could actually appreciate it. He's pretty decent to play as too, which makes this an easy S tier for me. Before looking at the others though, I had always heard how cool the telepods of these guys were, but I never owned any as a kid. I felt like having one, and there are literally no other cheap and widely available ones besides this Jazz and Brawl 2 pack. I've had this thing since like September, it's just been sitting on my counter, so it feels great to finally open it. Jazz looks like a completely different character for some reason, and it's pretty sad how little posability this thing has. It was pretty fun that I could switch between the driving and running mode so quickly, and it's nice to have another character to go with him. Now I can make them kiss at least. Don't forget that I can scan him into the game and play as him, which is pretty nice. I wish I had more telepods, but at least I can say I got little old Jazz. Let me know which ones you have in the comments. Ricochet is one of the few color swaps that I think look just as cool as the original, and having the name Ricochet actually matters as his shots bounce off of objects. This doesn't always do something cool, but everyone loves a good trick shot. So far, Bubbles is the best treated character of the bunch. I really hope I didn't just jink myself. I'll play it safe and give him an A. Blaster ends up stealing Chef Pig's animations, doing this cocky little hip thrust at all times. Could you stop moving for five minutes? I'm not as fond of this one as it's a complete copy of Chef Pig just with Bubbles' head on top. He also just looks less cool than his brothers. C tier. 
Sideswipe's name also relates to his weapon, literally swiping objects as he shoots. It's pretty fun to use, but I'm not too crazy about this design, so B tier. I was wondering when we get another one of these. This one is just rusty and scratched up for no good reason. F tier. I believe this is the most recent character being added only a few months ago. Wait a second, does that mean this video will be outdated? Oh no, I don't want to have to come back to this crap. This is all your fault, Neon Sideswipe. If you didn't look cool, I'd place you lower than D tier. Red Alert is kind of a weird name for a character. He looks boring, and he's basically got the same weapon as Matilda has. We haven't even gotten to Matilda yet. Wait your turn. D tier. Private Red Alert is an even weirder name. Anyways, you know the drill. F tier. Then there's Sunstreaker, who is the exact same as the rest except black and yellow now. Has this gotten old yet? Let's finish up. There's just one more. C tier. Other than the costume that you can have an island on his head, there's not much to say about Mirage either. He thankfully was given a unique design and car. The Bubbles reskins are getting pretty old. It's still not amazing and it can go in C as well. And Private Mirage. I hate you. F tier. Finally, from this point on, most characters only have 5 or so reskins. It's still a lot, but not nearly as much. The Blues took a little while to join the team, but I think their final look ends up being pretty fun. Sure, Blue Streak and all these other characters taken over by J, Jake, and He Who Shall Not Be Named don't typically have three heads, but I personally don't mind. Looking at the earliest version of their design in the comics, one of the Blues, obviously Jake, takes the head, while the others are forced to be the feet. That's pretty messed up. Jim should have been the freaking crotch more than anything. I like the change they made here, and some of their animations are really fun, especially the juggling one. It's really cool that they get to drive an invisible car, too. Uh, wait, that's not supposed to happen? Oh, well, that car is fine too, I guess. Not as amazing as an invisible one, though. I also love that they took the form of Blue Streak primarily, as Blue Streak typically doesn't have an ounce of blue in its color scheme. It just works out so perfectly this way. Their attack has a splitting mechanic, which, again, is spot on for the blues. They aren't incredible in-game, but I'm a big fan of their appearance here. Let's go A tier. Prowl is a bit less visually interesting, but is a bit better to play as, I think. I'll put them down in B tier. Scratched Up Prowl, on the other hand, is going in F tier. And Neon Prowl gets the bluesy, demonic-looking eyes they've always deserved, so let's give them a D tier. Smokescreen gets a pretty cool-looking car and a smoke effect with each shot. They're just so colorful. It's nice to see after the mundane major prowl we had to sift through. B tier. Lastly, the blues got to be Beachcomber. Huh, I wonder what they get up to in their spare time. They are extremely similar to Smokescreen, except now shooting sand rather than smoke. whoop de doo This is somehow the first blue-based blues character, which actually looks pretty nice. I'm feeling generous. Let's give them a B too. Just like that, we get to move on to Bomb. There's no way in the modern day that Bomb would be added so late, but maybe they were hoping to entice people to come back and play the game again after his inclusion. He gets to be Drift, the Samurai Transformer. Sometimes he has this massive thing on his head, and other times he looks much more normal. I've got the normal one, so let's just pretend the other version doesn't exist. I think his sports car looks really, really cool, and his shirk and weapons not only fit his personality here, but are super effective. The more I've looked into Drift, the more I've started to like him. We also don't have very many S's today, so I think we should give him a little boost. Then we have Wheeljack, who I like the look of quite a bit less. He's still in a samurai pose for some reason, despite wielding a straight up rocket launcher. I must say, he's really fun to use in game. You just can't go wrong with the rocket launcher. I'll put him in A tier. Scratched up Wheeljack isn't nearly as horrible as the rest, plus he's still got that rocket launcher. He can have a D tier. Warpath is a pretty badass name, but taking a look at his derpy wallet expression has the exact opposite reaction. He's based on King Pig's body type, making him a straight up tank. No one else has gotten to be a tank yet, so I must say this is an incredible vehicle for a Transformer. It is so unbelievably fun to play as this guy, but as soon as his gun overheats, I clench my fist and go, Arr, knock it off! Looking at a, um, mentally challenged bomb is pretty amusing, and I kind of want to say S, but I'll give it an A as well. Congrats on being the 69th bird today, Grapple. Anyways, if you want to know who is the most hated Angry Birds Transformer character, then good news, it's freaking Grapple. More like Crapple, am I right? I actually am right this time! I'm clearly no expert at this game, because I played as him and thought he was just fine. He's a Terrence clone, so he walks slow, but otherwise I don't really know what makes him so bad. His yellow and blue color scheme isn't too impressive, and if people really hate him that much, I'm not about to disagree. F tier. Our next combiner is Omega Supreme. 
which is pretty drastically different from the other bombs we've seen. Feels like he's gotten the most unique look out of everyone, despite having half the body count. This is our first combiner that has a secondary ability, being able to ground pound and wipe out most objects on screen. He's probably the best combiner we've seen yet. Continuing our streak of highly rated bomb clones, I'll put him in B. Would you believe it if I told you they made a beta version of a combiner too? You thought we were safe? Think again! Who we'll want one another Omega Supreme that only makes him look worse? Yep, as tradition, it plays exactly the freaking same! What the hell's the goddamn point, people? F tier. I'm not even gonna say anything for this one, let's just watch this sick cutscene instead. That makes me laugh every time. S tier. Silver has gotten to be in so few Angry Birds games, so that makes her inclusion here so much more special. We can also thank the heavens that this is her in-game design, and not the god-awful movie design she received later. Have fun being alone! This really makes her feel like part of the flock, and I'm just happy to see a newer character get added to Transformers. I must say the crown looking thing is really weird to me, and I know that's just what Windblade looks like, but it kinda clashes with the rest of her design. Still, she's a cool plane with a pretty good attack. Let's give her an A tier. It's been a while since we've seen an Energon version show up. Since Silver only has three forms, I don't mind this one all too much. It's not like we're sick of Silver or anything, compared to the others this is a gift. C tier. As requested, Silver removes her crown and places it with a new helmet. Erm, um, you dropped your crown, queen. This is by far my favorite version of Silver. Her machine gun weapon makes her gameplay so much more fun. I can literally shoot at whatever I want with no repercussions, and the design is awesome. Screw Windblade, this is what Silver deserved all along. S tier. There's this really cool evil purple bird in Angry Birds that I would have loved to see get out of this game. She'd be another female rep, she could fit in with the Deceptahogs, and she has a really cool purple color scheme. Wait, you're telling me they added her? Gale is in the game? Wait, what are you talking about? I was talking about Gale. You mean there's another bird that fits that exact description as well? Who? Wait. No. No, this can't be happening. No. I've avoided this for so long. Please, no. No. No! If you haven't noticed, Zeta has yet to be ranked on our tier list. I've got a few words to say about this freak. Balls! But for now I've been keeping her appearances down to these strange, creepy fan art drawings of her. But I've been left with no choice. They just had to include Zeta and Transformers. I don't even know how to pronounce her name, people. Maybe I should just say Zito from now on. Cheeto. If you don't know who this bird is, it's the main villain of the second movie. I don't blame you if you forgot about her either. Zeta is Nightbird, and it's impressive they had a character with bird in it and hadn't introduced them until now. I assume there's some futuristic flying car kind of thing, but it looks like she just fashioned a garbage can into an outfit. It's hard to get more visually boring than this. And look at her face! I can't even tell this is a face! Unless I bring it to the side, she just does not work in this art style. Sadly, her weapon is awesome. Shooting blocks of ice at the enemies is really cool. God damn it, Zito! Just let me hate you! Lucky for her, I've got a little surprise cooking up. This is exciting, guys. For the first time ever, I'm adding an extra tier just for a specific character. Let's welcome Zeta to her new home in Zeta tier. Or, as a shortened named, Z tier. Man, if only Z tier could fit on the screen. Oh well, that's too bad. Guess we'll just have to remember she's down there. Hold the phone, there's more of you? Well, at least Z tier is going to get a bit more use now. Sergeant Nightbird is somehow more bland and uninteresting than the first one. Doesn't really matter what I think of her though. I can't really put Zeta anywhere other than her own dang tier. Of course there's one more. What even is this design by the way? I can't even tell what's supposed to be on her head. It looks less like a face than it already did. The plane does look pretty fun, but that's it. Join your sisters in Z tier, you witch! Would you believe we have more of the flock yet to see? Mighty Eagle himself is here too. But what the hell? That's what you guys think he looks like? He went from this? To this? A giant, menacing, invincible mass of destruction is just a puny little head on a scrawny body? He should be massive! Well, too bad, we got this instead. Purple and red are a strange color choice for the Mighty Eagle, but I guess any discussion on his looks are pointless. He is undoubtedly one of the most OP characters in the game. Sure, he isn't invincible, and he doesn't just wipe out every level, but he is really good. And although this tier list takes everything into account, I think it'd be dumb to play such an overpowered character lower than S tier. Just know I hate him as a person. Look at him squatting. Just shit already! Captain Alpha Trion defies all laws of physics by being the only captain, private, sergeant, etc. to not be scratched up. He's still more pale and uninteresting, but is only rusty, not scratched. You realize this makes me hate you even more, don't you? You think you're special? F tier! 
If any character had to be a combiner, Mighty Eagle obviously makes the most sense. I would have assumed he was only a combiner before unlocking his other forms. This version of him is the most fitting of the Mighty Eagle, and that definitely makes me appreciate him more. His special secondary ability is a set of missiles, which is just a nice bonus, really. I still have no respect for the combiners, but a lot of them have a B tier, at least. There's also a version of the Mighty Eagle named Cup. We got Silver as Windblade, Zeta as Nightbird, and now a guy named Cup. Two girls, one cup! Astir! The last bird I have to cover is Matilda as Nautica. After all the stellar variants there were, I really have to wonder why they waited so long to include the bird that's in nearly every other game. This game gets stranger and stranger by the minute. And speaking of strange, it is extremely weird to have this slim feminine robot body with Matilda's head on top. It reminds me of that one version of Red with the feminine body type, it just seems out of place. Matilda actually gave players the opportunity to unlock her without premium currency or real money, and that's pretty amazing. Players who have sunk years into the game were given another Transformer to work on, and that's a really nice note to end on. Her character's name is Nautica, so she appropriately has water-based attacks, and they're pretty good. I'm really happy with Matilda's inclusion, and I only feel that her design leaves a little to be desired. A tier it is. We couldn't just end on a positive note though, of course not! Quite possibly the least different Energon version ever goes to Nautica. At least she has an acid effect on her attacks now. D tier. Our last playable character of the list is Strong Arm, and honestly, what a great one to end on. Matilda gets beefy, and this just looks so much more fitting than her other body type. The red and blue works perfectly for her police car aesthetic. What am I even saying? She's beefy! That's all you need to know! I'm not the biggest fan of her weapon though, as its arc is just annoying to use. I would love to end on an S, but I think a B is more fitting. We're not done yet though. I've historically ranked the eggs as well, so I've got to include the egg bots too. You've probably seen them a few times through the video, since they act as an enemy type in certain levels. They're these pesky mischievous little guys, causing chaos and mayhem wherever they go. The pigs and birds have sort of teamed up to take them out. The eggs are causing the island to go nuts in the first place. In game though, they're harmless, and your goal is to farm coins from them in the levels they appear in. I've always questioned placing them anywhere other than F tier on the list, mainly because they aren't actually birds. But I suppose everyone here is a robot. Except Zeta, of course. That's what we in the business like to call a freak of nature. But still, after this mess of a tier list, I don't think it's fitting to end positively. The characters in this game piss me off. So instead, it thematically makes much more sense to end our list by putting the egg bots in F tier. Chances are you might have caught on to the fact that I'm not the biggest fan of this game. Don't get me wrong, it isn't all bad, but you can only go through so many reskins of the same character before getting frustrated. These birds disguised as robots in disguise are cool. I only wish they'd put more effort into making each character special. I implore you to look up any Transformers character and put it up side by side with the ones in game. Chances are, if it wasn't the first character that bird was linked to, it looks absolutely nothing like that character. There are some really cool Transformers characters that got done dirty here, and that's hard to forgive. If you love playing this game, more power to you, but I'm personally pretty happy to be done with this list. And speaking of, maybe we should discuss what it means to be done with this list. This is the fifth part of my series of ranking every Angry Birds bird, and there's around 250 to 300 birds on our list now. That is a lot, and technically there are more. We haven't covered games like Evolution or Angry Birds Cheetos, and there's a lot we could do with the movie's characters as well. But I hate to say this, it feels like we've covered most of the birds worth covering. Yes, I know there are a lot of fans of the newly datamined Drill Bird, and there are official space variants of Matilda, Hal, and Stella now, and I'd love to keep going with the series. But it might be best to call it quits, you know? If there's a high demand to make a sixth part, of course I will. But if you're all satisfied, then I think this will make for a nice, big, final wrap up on the longest series on my channel yet. Don't worry, I still gotta rank more pigs, more games, and a ton of other ideas I have for Angry Birds content. It's not going anywhere. So I hope you all stick around for those videos too. Considering I put most of these in F tier, my members are gonna consist of a lot of low ranked birds today. Sorry guys, but if you want to be a channel member disguised as a bird, disguised as a robot in disguise, then please consider becoming a member of the channel today. Thank you Groth One Finger, Cobalt Chrome E, Patrick Byerjan, Honomaki, Bright Streak, MD Switchy, Gall Guy, Dolphin Rider H2O, Dojo Master, Kristoff Creations, Generic Toho Fan, Pez Dispenser, Eduardo Santiago, It's Me Alley, Jasper TV, Keep, Jax Who Plays, Daisy, and Omegon. Join my Patreon so I can keep making these huge videos. I don't know what's wrong with me, honestly. I work tirelessly to rank all of Piggy Tales, and afterwards I think to myself, you know what? I would love to rank 88 Mostly Horrible Transformers. I want nothing more than to spend all of January doing that. I don't blame you for free. I don't blame you for free. I don't blame you for free. Who wouldn't want to know?
Who wouldn't want another Omega Supreme? Who wouldn't want another mate? Who wouldn't want another mate? Who wouldn't want another? Who wouldn't want another mate? Oh my God.